sweet to a happy time. <laughs> now, for years, they've been labelled as the healthy alternative to sugar. But according to the latest guidelines from the World Health Org Organization, sweeteners won't help you lose weight. And with concerns, they could actually increase cardiovascular diseases. We're asking if we should be swapping sugar substitutes for actual sugar instead. So, Gut Guru, Dr. Megan Rossi is with us here to explain all. We're going back to sugar, are we? Yeah, guys, it's a really interesting statement that the World Health Organization has come out with. So, they've done all of this research, included 280 studies or over that. And what they reviewed from that is if your goal is weight management or reducing risk of things like type 2 diabetes, then these sweeteners are not the answer. Yet most people actually use these sweeteners for things like weight management, things like that. So it has been a complete flip in terms of the recommendations. I'm absolutely got it because I've used diet coats, diet this, diet that. I didn't realise it was going against me. Why have we become so reliant on sweeteners, why do you think? Yeah, look, there's so many elements to it, but the government actually introduced the sugar tax in 2018, where they actually penalised companies that had too much added sugar in it, which is, you know, a good thing to some extent, because we are having too much of the added sugar, you know, the table sugar, sugar and things like that. But that has resulted in manufacturers not just reducing the sugar, but replacing it with all of these sweeteners. And the thing about these sweeteners is, yes, we've done some preliminary safety data and, you know, they're not going to harm you in, in the short yeah. term, but actually the long-term data is suggesting they might not be as good as we've been led to believe. The thing is, we know where sugar comes from. We can see it. It's a natural process, whether yeah. it's good or bad for you. But the sweeteners, I, I don't know what's in them. I've never read the packets. Yeah, yeah, look, and, you know, the recent survey came out showing that 3.5 million people are having sweeteners at least twice a day, you know, a lot of us are having them, right? And so this statement that's come out, these guidelines, really is food for thought in terms of we need to actually start thinking about, okay, well, what is in our food? And I think a lot of the, the things we're seeing and potential mechanisms of why these sweeteners might be having a harmful impact is kind of threefold. One is that it, it can certainly desensitise your sweet perception. So you might have noticed yourself that if you start having more of these sweeteners, actually, you don't get that, that same sweet hit and you need to have more and more and more. That's so true. Because yeah. I put sweetener in my tea and if I, sometimes now... I used to start off with half. Yeah. Now I'm on about four. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. four sweeteners. Yeah, no, and you're not alone. Like, a lot of people have so it's addictive. quite a lot. Yeah, and it, and it kind of makes your taste buds not appreciate that real, true sweetness. So you have more and more and more, and then when you don't have the sweetness available, you probably have an extra helping of chocolate and, and those sorts of things. The other thing is that the sweeteners, why they contain or provide our body with low or no calories is that we're not very good at digesting them and turning them into energy. And in turn, they actually go through most of our digestive system undigested and they hit our gut bacteria. So you guys always know I'm banging on about our gut bacteria, but actually they're really, really important. And they think this could be one of the mechanisms of why for some people, um, these sweeteners ha have actually been associated with things like increased risk of type 2 diabetes in the long term, as well as weight gain. Oh, so so you, maybe gut bacteria doesn't like the sweeteners? Yeah, so what it does is it changes the profile, the types of bacteria, makes them more inflammatory, as well as the chemicals the bacteria are producing. Because we know these bacteria, literally uh, trillions of bacteria in our gut, actually do things like regulate our appetite hormones, so making us, you know, want to crave more things. And then... What's the right thing to do? Do we just have sugar? Yeah, look, I mean, a lot of people ask me this, and there's kind of the three different categories of sweetness, right? So we've got the traditional sugars, like the white sugar, the brown sugar, things like, you know, the agave nectar, coconut blossom, molasses, all that sort of stuff, is all very similar, even though some have a bit of a, you know, health halo, but they're all kind of, they add the calories, they add the kind of the blood sugar spike and things like that. Then you have those um, other sweetness, the so things like the stevia, the sucralose, the aspartame, which the World Health Organization is now warning against having large amounts of them, particularly for weight management. And then this third color, um, area is the natural sweetness that's found in whole fruit. And this is the one we should be focusing on, guys. We're having too much of the added sugar. We're having too much of these artificial sweeteners. We want to really be focusing on the natural sources. So, you know, whenever I make pancakes, for example, I blend in a banana instead of using, you know, table yeah. sugar to sweeten it. You know, if I'm having a cake, I blend in dates instead of having, you know, the added honey and things like that. Because when we get the sugar packaged in fruit, what happens is, yes, we get an amazing taste buds, um, but also it contains the gut-loving fibre and these other chemicals which help, um, you know, support our metabolism and support things like our appetite regulation. So we really should be getting more of that. Do we, do we need sugar? I mean, do we need to consume it? 
We don't necessarily need to consume added sugar. We do need to consume these natural forms in terms of the whole fruit because of these, these amazing micronutrients in it that supports, you know, our overall health. So they are quite important. I wouldn't be looking from sugar for these. No. No. There's nothing you need. No. Yeah. Nothing in uh, The Food Standards <laughs> Agency have got in touch, a spokesperson. Uh, as with other food added tips, as sweeteners must undergo a rig rigorous safety evaluation before they are authorised for use in food. All approved sweeteners are considered a safe and acceptable alternative to sugar. Yeah, that's an interesting one. And I obviously work at King's College in London where we do a lot of uh, food additive research. And a lot of the historic safety data has been looking at how it impacts human metabolism. But actually, there's, with this growing awareness of our gut bacteria, we're starting to reevaluate the safety of these, these different food additives based on how they're impacting our gut bacteria. So I don't want to scare people. Yes, if you're having it, you know, have small amounts. But the World Health Organization has reviewed those 280 studies and have come up with this conclusion that for weight management and reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, it's not the way to go. Very quickly, you need a sugar hit now. What do you take? What's safe? What's good? Always go the whole fruit. Dates, bananas, stewed apple, those sorts of things is the ultimate way. And also, if you've got too much, you know, addicted to sugar, I would reduce down slowly over two weeks. Your taste buds actually ad adjust yep. and become more sweet sensitive. Retrain the brain. Megan, thanks Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Thank stuff. you so much, Thank Megan. You.